This teenager in California told the Washington Post he was one of 20 or so members who met with the alleged leaker during the pandemic on a server called Thug Shaker Central on Discord. He acted like a father figure to the teens. They called him OG. Every single day we would watch movies, play games, do activities together. We'd stream our, our houses and mess around and dance and have fun. Um, when members would have issues like mental health crises, OG and other members would help them out. The team described the small group as his online family and said, unlike Edward Snowden and Chelsea Manning, he was not a whistleblower, just a guy showing off for some impressionable kids locked down during COVID. A few days ago, after news of the leak broke, the man known as OG spoke to the group. I mean, we had members crying. We had people just, just distraught and sad and, uh, it was almost like seeing a family member pass away. He seemed a bit confused as to what to do in his scenario, which was unbefitting of him. He always seemed to have the answer to everything. Confronted at his home by reporters this morning, Airman Teixeira's parents said he now needed a lawyer and that they had expected the feds would arrive any time. And we saw that arrival just moments ago live on television, Martha. It's incredible. You know, I mean, so many things go through my mind as you're reporting this story, Jennifer. Um, I, I guess the most important is that it feels like we're living in an environment where people who are good on these websites and on Bellingcat and all these places appear to be kind of running circles around our own intelligence and Pentagon. It, is that is that fair to say? Well, I think the problem is after 9-11, we opened intelligence up to so much. We didn't want to silo intelligence, mm -hmm. so you allowed people with security clearance to have access. And the fact that this, frankly, doesn't happen every day is uh, kind of miraculous. But the fact that there aren't computer systems and digital systems in place to track if somebody is doing this and maneuvering around these systems, uh, it's just very surprising, very disappointing, and disappointing that this was online for six to eight months before it came to light. It's incredible. I, I mean, you know, and you would like to see a very forceful reaction from the highest levels of the government because this is serious. Obviously, it, it shows that there needs to be some kind of change. The other comment that you made in your report